Hey everyone, this is Mark with At Tech, and in this video, I want to show you how to use an Ethernet tester. These are actually fairly easy to use. They can be somewhat confusing at first, but I also want to show you what some of the lights mean, how the schedule can light up on there, and what that could possibly be telling you. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we need to do is go ahead and plug in a cable into either end. You can also disconnect these two. This one is the main source, this one is the remote. There is no communication between the two other than through the cable. So if you get power on this box but not on this one, it means that there is an issue between the cables. So if you want to, you can just go ahead and slide this off. As you can see, there is no contacts at all. So we'll go ahead and do that. So first thing you need to do is just go ahead and connect your cable to your Ethernet port. This is an RJ11, this is an RJ45. Plug that into there. And then we will just go ahead and plug this other end into our remote. Now, all you have to do is just go ahead and turn this on. There are two positions, there's on and then there's S. On is just normal and then S is actually slow. So if we look at on, you can see it moving through those lights. Now, if I move it to S, as you can see, it moves a lot slower. That's just so it helps you to see the numbers easier and that sort of stuff. So if we put it to on, it'll cycle through each of the pins on the cable. You're gonna wanna check both sides too to make sure that all of them light up properly, not that there's an ear on one side, not the other. So let's make sure it lights up through all eight on each side. And if it does, then your cable is good. Now what happens if you don't have a good cable? Well, I'm gonna simulate that here with this adapter that I got, and I'll show you why it is important to look at both sides of the tester. So if we plug this in here, and then we turn it on. I'll show you what I mean. So on the left side, you can see all of them do light up, all eight. So you may think that it is good, but if we take a look at this side, so you can see it goes through one all the way up, and then seven and eight both light up at the exact same time. That means that those two pins are crossed over. They are both getting the same feed. They're not independent of each other. So there could be some sort of short or other issue with the cable. And that means that there is an issue. Now, the reason these two are different is also to help you know which connector is bad. So in case I would need to replace this connector or this one is good. Now, if you have a light that doesn't actually light up at all, like it skipped pin four on both of them, then that doesn't necessarily mean that pin four is bad on both of them. It just means it's bad on one of them. And in that case, it is somewhat harder to figure out which connector of the two is bad. So you'll need to look at that a little bit better and see if you can visually see something on the cable that is not that good. Now, other things you may see as that it may actually jump around different places that's fine, it's just a different way of how the cable is terminated on either end that will cause that. And again, if you see it skip a number, that means that number is dead, there's no signal on there. If you don't see this end light up at all, then you've got a major issue because it can't pass any data or power between the two. And if you see them two light up at the same time, that means they may be crossed over. So. There you go, that is it. That's pretty much how you use an Ethernet cable tester. Not too hard, pretty simple and easy once you figure it out. And it is really helpful when making your own cables. So if you have any questions at all, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with Hat Tech, and I'll see you in the next one.